hello guys in this video we are going to check the responsiveness of this uh, of this app and we will fix if there is any responsiveness issue and we will build the apk for this app so let's get into the video so first uh, using the developer tools we will go into responsive and immediately you can see that uh, the app is pretty pretty responsive so even in this screen there is the scroll acting so now let's go ahead and uh, build the apk for this app so i have not installed uh, java or android studio or anything like that in my system so we'll be using the expos uh, expo build tools uh, to build that as well so in the expo documentation you can see to build to build standalone apps you can see the we have done the expo cli and then it comes to configuring the app.json so let's open the app.json okay we have an error actually so we have the error is each child in a list should have a unique key so what are they referring here is in future forecast js.13 which is this one we will not have key there so since we are looping through we need a, a value of key and we will pass the key as the index so which is the index of the array that is this one okay so I think when we save that now yep the error is, error is gone so now the app is ready to be built. So first let's look into the app.json file. So open the explorer and take the app.json file. So you can see a lot of things here. So if we want to change the icons and all those things, we can do it here. Uh, basically, uh, we do not have uh, the package and version for Android set. So we just copy that from here inside the android we'll paste that and instead of this i'll just say ashish george dot in and the app name is better app okay we'll just do that and save it here uh, now let's build the app so we'll just build the android and not the ios because anyway we can't use the ios in any ways we can't install it in a, in a uh, iphone so let's build uh, the android apk version so so when building we'll just use the expo build command and myst dot apk so we'll just go here open the terminal and we'll stop the development uh, the development server here and we'll just expo build android minus t apk so this is making sure that project is set up correctly and it's asking uh, if there is a key store available so every app that is uploaded to the play store uh, needs to be signed so there is a uh, a key signing that that needs to be done so it's asking if uh, if i want to upload my own file or sh should they generate their own so i'll just generate new key store optimizing builds um, so the build is uh, is now complete so if we click the link that's given here so it will it will download the apk file so one of the negatives that i found about the expo cli is that you can see even for a small app like this one the app size is 60 mb about 60 mb so that's a that's a huge file size for something as small as uh, this weather app and the second thing is uh, expo cli uh, does not have access to all hardware elements so uh, there are limitations to that uh, so you can't use uh, expo cli in on all cases uh, in some cases you will have to uh, choose choose the na native which is android studio 
I was testing this app on an Android phone and I found that it was not properly working. So the issue that I found was that uh, this navigator or the geolocation, this uh, doesn't work for Android or iOS apps. So this is basically a, a browser function which gives the location of the uh, browser. So we can't use this uh, to get the position of uh, position in a, in a React Native app. What we'll go do is uh, we'll go into the uh, expo docs and get the location from there. So I opened the expo do uh, documentation and I found this location API which is expo location. So this package uh, is supported in Android, I uh, iOS, emulator and web. So to do that first we need to add a permission of a location. So we'll add that now. So here in app.json in the Android we'll add permissions and we'll add an array and in that we'll add the location okay so this uh, this gives the location uh, permission for the, for using the location uh, now let's scroll here and you can see there is if you are using Android and iOS emulators you can use this so we'll use this same function there so we have to install this expo dot expo hyphen location so uh, we'll do npm install dash dash save expo location I have already done that uh, since I've installed the package I can just import it here so import star as location from expo location so this gives the uh, gives us access to location and then here in the use effect you can see it getting the request uh, it requesting to get the location so uh, we'll just copy this uh, this function from here okay and we'll paste that in our uh, in our use effect which is this one we'll remove the navigated geolocation function and we'll paste the uh, paste the one that we got from expo location so what it's what is happening here is we are uh, getting the request to uh, uh, we are getting the permission to uh, get the location and uh, if the permission is not granted what we'll do is uh, we'll call the API with the set location so in our case uh, that location was uh, the location of New York so we'll just cop, uh, paste that function and we'll pass the latitude and longitude later if the permission is given we can directly uh, I mean we can use this location dot get position async so this gives the position and uh, once we have that position, we can get again latitude and longitude from there. So, so we, we are not going to set the location here. Instead, we'll just call this function here. And we'll pass uh, the coordinate from here. So location dot chord dot latitude and location dot chords dot longitude okay this gives the latitude and longitude and we'll just uh, put the New York location here so we'll go here get the coordinates of New York and we'll copy this from here paste it here copy this from here and paste it here and we'll add a minus since it's west and we'll just add a add a condition to check if latitude and longitude is there and if they are there we'll fetch the data yeah so now when we 
can we run it on uh, on web it just works as usual so the location is enabled if we block the location and restart it to show new york location so uh, it's working as uh, as it used to but the only difference while using this uh, this, this method is that uh, it supports uh, in it is supported in android and ios as, uh, ios as well yeah i'll i'll provide the link for uh, this this download and you can down it uh, check try out the app uh, in your mobile and let me know in the comment section uh, how how this app is and what what are your thoughts on this so i hope you found this series useful and if you did uh, do let me know i i read all the comments and your comments are valuable so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one video